Hi, I'm Dave Orzal, and you're watching PHTV4 Spotlight. Today's Spotlight is on the girls' track and field program at Allenby Shepherd High School in Palos Heights. Uh, with me, very fortunate, on my left, to have head coach Scott Rabarczyk, and on my right, I've got Kyla. And uh, they're at the front end of their season. They're in their indoor season, uh, outdoor season, just a few weeks away. So we get a little bit of how things are going and then maybe a preview of what the season looks like going forward. Uh, so before we talk about your season, Coach, can you talk about your job and you know coaching your career here at Shepherd? So this is actually my 17th year at Shepherd High School, 10th uh, year as the head coach of Shepherd Track, um, 16th year coaching track here at Shepherd, and then I've also coached boys basketball, girls basketball, and girls cross country at Shepherd as well. Wow. So a bit <laughs> yeah, I say you're a busy guy. You got a lot going on. Well, good. I, I'm great, and, and congratulations on 17 years, and then the 10 years you said is a head, head yeah. coach. Yeah. Wow. All right. Um, and then Kyla, how about I, uh, you're? I'm trying to think. You're a, a junior, yeah. right? Uh, what events do you do in the track team? Uh, I do just about everything. I do hurdles. I jump like all the jumps, long jump, triple jump, high jump, and I sprint, relays, mid-distance, 400. Yep, that's it. That's it. I like it. <laughs> Very catchy. She does just about everything, it sounds like, yeah? All right, so we're at the front end of the season. I'm going to ask you both, uh, Coach, in general, what about the team? How do they look so far? How do you feel going into the season? Uh, it's been going very well so far. Um, I, th I think this could be one of the best uh, seasons in our school history. Um, we've already, Kyler's broke three school records indoors in the long jump, triple jump, and the hurdles. And then we have a high jumper, Rajay Stevenson, who's uh, also broke the high jump school record indoors already. So just a great start um, by all of our girls. And uh, it's, you know, looking to be uh, a great one. Wow, that's got to be, I mean, really exciting to be at this point in the season and to see the potential of what can happen still coming up. Um, Kyla, how about for you, like where you're at, obviously you're doing a lot of great things, so you got to be pretty excited. How do you feel about where you're, you're at now and what it looks like going forward for you? Um, I feel like uh, right now I think I've improved a lot because from last year, and everything and all the people that like came like freshmen I think they're pretty good so I think it's going to be a good year. Good it sounds exciting I like that she can recognize the improvement she's made from like last year as an example and um, I, I'm going to ask this question we kind of want to throw it out there are there are they're all important are, is there a, like a meet or an invite you especially look forward to uh, kind of like one like yeah this is really cool you like getting after this one? Well, indoors we go to a bunch of college tracks. Uh, we actually started the season off at Gately Stadium, and then last weekend we are at Olivet Nazarene, and tomorrow night we go to North Central uh, University. So we just have a bunch of big indoor meets to, to run against some great competition. But our whole goal is like outdoors, is we're trying to win a conference championship. We're trying to win a sectional championship as well. Um, so, you know, everything's preparing for May, um, but it starts now with all of our work that we're putting in. It sounds like you're going to have a good chance at that, certainly. And I, and I do agree that going to a college or university, getting a run on those tracks, that's a pretty nice way to spend the indoor, even though you're probably stuck in the hallways mm -hmm. like some schools are. But to get on that college track, how about for you, Kyla? Meets you look forward to especially? Um, the meet that I'm usually looking forward to is probably state because I get to go up against all these good people and go against them and see how like I can improve more with their training and stuff. You gotta love that answer as a coach, right? Looking forward to the best competition, right? Yes. Not about you know learn from them and challenge them a whole bit. That's great. I love the attitude. Good luck with that, Kyle. Uh, turn away from track for just a second. Favorite subject in school? Um, I think I really like like drafting because we have like this drafting program where we get to uh build stuff on the computer and stuff and make like wood laser cut and all that stuff. I think it's pretty cool. Okay. I'm going to ask you, and I know you're a junior, so it's a ways off still. Um, are you thinking post high school yet? Do you have any ideas on what you might like to do? Uh, yeah, I think I would like to be an uh, architect. I like looking at houses, the idea of houses, just, yeah. So the drafting is part of that, yeah? yeah. How about any other club sports or activities at Shepherd? Uh, no, not at Shepherd, but outside of Shepherd, I dance with a competition team for 14 years, so it's been... Wow. Been a long time. Okay. Well, congratulations on that, and that you can be such an amazing athlete. Uh, then, final questions for both of you: uh, whether maybe this year, it sounds like you've had some already, but maybe last year as well. Uh, best or favorite moment in track and field, coach? Well, just 
we're, we're, we spend long weekends together. So like we, we were together at Gately from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So just being able to be with these girls every weekend is always a blast. And um, just, just when they achieve great things is, is great to see. Kyla didn't even mention at that state meet last year, she came home with two all-state medals last year as a sophomore in long jump and triple jump. Um, so just seeing the, cheat, uh, the girls achieve at the highest of levels is, is, is amazing. Yeah, I, I was going to say, you hit on two great combinations there. One is it's fun, and it needs to be fun if you're going to be together that much. But then to watch that, that level of success or to compete at a level like that has got to be wonderful, right? Um, Kyla, how about for you, a favorite memory or moment so far? Uh, I'd say like the same thing, being able to cheer on my teammates, seeing their accomplishments because some people be like nervous and be able to like, have their back and stuff, yeah. I said, what a wonderful answer here, Coach. I mean, she's a wonderful person. You must be a great coach because that is very humble, cheering for her teammates, too. And obviously, she's having amazing success. Uh, and the final question for, for both of you, what do you like best about either as a coach or as an athlete being part of the Shepherd Track and Field program? Just seeing them mature from coming in as freshmen to uh, – just the great people that they become throughout the years here um, and leave as seniors, um, you know, just as amazing kids that are going to go accomplish so much. Yeah, it is cool. We'll watch that growth, right? And, yeah. the, and to see the potential in their future and what might happen. Kyla, how about you? What do you like best about being part of the program? Um, like being able to be proud of myself about how good I've gotten and how like people always like cheer me up and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice to be to have things that you can feel good about and to have those teammates and the support there for you. Well, I wish you both the best. Uh, you know, hopefully uh, I, I see. I'm sure I'll bump into you to track me at some point, but hopefully we'll see you downstate too at the end. Right. Yeah. Good luck, Kyle. Good Thank luck, you. Coach. I'm Dave Wurzel, and you've been watching PHTV4 Spotlight. Today's Spotlight has been on the girls' track and field program at Allenby Shepherd High School in Palos Heights. Thank you for watching.